Bronco. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. You know, I should have done that the first time in the first fight. You know, but we live and we learn. That's what makes boxing so exciting. What do you think about everything he spoke about the the way that he can make the way the Eddie Hearn do do this do that? What do you think? It's nothing I don't know. You know, when it came to Nottingham the first time, he had a check weight on the Tuesday. Um, he made it. I had to do it the same. This fight the same. I had a check weight. He missed the check weight when he got it. Oh. He said to me, look, we'll give you one more day. That's not to make weight, that's just to make a check weight. And he couldn't even make it the next day, so, you know, I don't know what went wrong, but, you know, that's down to him. And uh, he lost his belt fair and square, you know. He should have uh, he should have been posted the weight, he knew what he had to do. You thinking about unification next year or maybe this year? 100%. Um, hopefully next to the Warrington fight, the city ground, which is my dream fight. Uh -huh. um, or someone else, but hopefully Warrington, that would be, uh -huh. bring the fans to the best atmosphere. Then a unification fight. Um, Lopez or Ramirez or Vargas, anyone. What do you think of Robesi Ramirez? Yeah, definitely. It's on my radar. Um, a WA strap, why not? You think you think he better better one of the three? He's a good fighter, but one thing about me is I find a way to win. Um, he's not a massive featherweight. I think I'm one of the biggest, if not the biggest featherweight in the world. So, um, you know, I know I've got the tools to beat him. Thank you very much.